Hello everyone, my name is Parveer Handel and I'm Surrey Newton's independent candidate for this federal election. As the election unfolds in our riding, we have to ask ourselves a very important question. What has changed in Surrey Newton? We all know we are experiencing a gang, drug and crime crisis. We have an overcrowded and underfunded healthcare system. We are in the midst of a mental health and illicit overdose crisis. There are so many complexities and so many social, social issues continuing to exist within our riding. And these issues existed 10 years ago and still continue to exist now and are just continuing to get worse. We need a voice for these changes. We need a person in Ottawa representing Surrey Newton issues. There are so many issues existing within our community and who is actually voicing for this change. We need prevention programs within our school systems to protect our children and youth. We have an overcrowded and underfunded healthcare system with on average six to eight month wait times for imaging testing, meaning CT scans and MRIs will be taken in months. And this is a risk for the health and well-being of our community. We are in the middle of an illicit drug overdose crisis and we need mental health support. There are so many social issues existing within Surrey Newton that existed 10 years ago and have been talked about and still exist now because we don't have an adequate voice in Ottawa saying these are our issues in Surrey Newton, this is where we need funding and this is where we need our help and let's put Surrey Newton back on track for a safe and better future. There are so many organizations within our Surrey Newton riding who have been asking for years for federal funding. They have not gotten the help they received. And if there is not strong representation at the top within federal government, how will our provincial and municipal governments function within Surrey Newton? We, the, we don't have time to wait. We need change now. We need representation. We need young, new representation that will stay active within our riding. Because a lot of times, I've heard time time again, after the election, we all have the same question. What is happening? What is happening in Ottawa? What is happening in our community? We need committed engagement within our community. We need town halls. We need events to be held. Because how will we know what to fight about unless we ask our residents what are their concerns? What are their issues? How can we help? Politics has become about power, status, about money, about wealth. This is not what politics is about. Politics is about being a voice for your community. I think it is incredibly sad that we have domestic violence victims right now at risk who need our help. Since the pandemic, there has been a 33% increase in domestic violence cases. There are victims out there who need our help. The organizations who could help them have been saying we need more federal money. We also need to think about all the lives we lost during the heat wave. Climate change is real. We need an adequate environmental plan within our riding, within our province, and within our country and across the globe. As an independent candidate, you have the same exact access to adequate resources as any other member. Every time there has been an independent candidate elected within a riding, that is when a riding has seen the most change because that individual is committed to going to Ottawa, to being in the community for them, serving them. And that's what politics is about, serving your community. I have the experience of actually working in Ottawa. I've moved there. I'm born and raised in Surrey Newton, but I took the opportunity to work in Ottawa so I could learn the political system, the justice system, the criminal justice system, and understand the exact roles and responsibilities of a member of parliament. I have that sufficient knowledge within my educational background that comes from business and law to also apply that with if I am elected as your member of parliament and to ensure that our small businesses are taken care of who are obviously experiencing a very difficult time because of the pandemic. With skyrocketing housing prices, it is becoming harder and harder for everyday people to make a living in Surrey Newton. We understand that affordable education is another concern for lots of parents as well as students who are attending post-secondary educations. There also needs to be increased opportunities for our Canadian students within Canadian, second, Canadian universities and colleges and post-secondary programs. We need to work on these issues in order to ensure that everybody's voices are heard and there is change brought within our riding. 
and I want to also include that I understand that these are promises right now, but if I am given a chance to be a member of parliament, we will actually see real change within our riding, and that is what I'm holding myself in accountable for, because I will provide every six months reports of what funding is coming into our riding, what is actually happening in Ottawa, and what changes we will see, and what changes are happening within our riding. And I think that is the most important key to politics. It's about keeping your constituents, keeping your community engaged, even after an election. Because boards don't mean anything unless you keep that engagement after an election happens. And I'm holding myself accountable for that because I know that is crucial to make sure that our community is heard even after an election happens and is aware of what is actually happening, what we are fighting for, and how we can help them within our riding. And another thing I want to add is that our riding of Surrey Newton at, with an independent candidate will still have a constituency office. And this office will be an open space for anybody to come at any time and express any issues, any problems, any concerns they have. Because the biggest thing about being a politician or being a community representative is that you listen to your community. Inclusivity equality and a safe space for everybody, especially those a part of the two LGBTQ plus community, as well as those a part of marginalized groups and BIPOC groups who have faced systemic discrimination, racism within our social system, within our society. I hear you, I see you, and we need to ensure that this is a safe space for everyone in Surrey Newton. We have a chance right now to bring the change that our riding needs. We know that there are social issues that exist that aren't being talked about. We have had the same representation, but we haven't had the change that we need to ensure that our community is a safe place for our residents. We have a very crucial decision to make during this election. We can have the change that we know we need and the change we know we want for our children, for our youth, for us. So I'm asking you on September 20th, Please think about who, are you, who you're going to vote. We need a representative who will be fighting for us in Ottawa. I want to be your voice in Surrey-Newton so we can make our community a better and safer place for all of us.